Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on a mirror region, working on a job for Cosmodrome, but had to come to Erska River to get small logs. Supposedly, we need three loads of small logs. But the last time I needed three loads of medium logs, it did the whole job with one load. So I'm going to take one load down and see what happens. The other thing I wanted to point out, a new addition to the scenery behind me instead of just a window, my daughter, she knows I like Subnautica. And she got me that little peeper for Father's Day. Um, my boy picked out the paper. He said the stuff on the bottom was the color of sand. And then the the blue was water. So I made sure I stuck it in there with the paper in the right place. But it's just a stuffed little peeper. peeper. It's hand knit by some lady on the internet that my, my daughter found her. And um, I really like it. I think it's cool. Now, onward with the business at hand. This thing must have shut itself off. This, by the way, let me... Bartleby's Zeke 605R Goliath. So it's a mod of the, 60, the Zeke 605R that you get on Cosmodrome by doing the Stargazer job. But this is a mod. I don't really care for how far that sticks over, but We'll play with it and see what happens. It got here. It seems to have fairly decent traction. Load short log. Got good travel on the suspension. I had no problem with the balance on an empty truck. So now we get to see what it does on a loaded truck. Roof rack has points, of course. There's other ways you can put points on the truck, but not with a log rack add-on. This is You'd have to have a fifth wheel or something so you can use the frame rails for the other add-ons that have points. There's a big Kung 
and there's a maintenance add-on that both have points. There's a spare wheel that has points. Many different ways you can set it up to be a rescue vehicle. Unless you need a crane. I suppose if you put a crane on it, a big crane, you could still have the rooftop points, but the crane would eat up the entire length of the frame rails. I can't start that job again until we get back across the border. Yeah, it has moderate trouble with these swampy areas. I was thinking about going straight across. But then you guys can't go straight across unless you manage to pick your way through the trees. Now see, I came in in that rocky area there. And I'm thinking Yeah, it was all mud like this. This whole thing is all mud. Thinking something like that. And then I'll the other side. Circumvent that big corner. Uh, this must, this must, that bump must be where we get back on the log road. It starts out a log road, but then the logs quit and you're in the mud, and then the log road picks up again on the other end. But there has to be that part where you just sit and spin what would snow runner be without that it seems like it's getting through this shit better with the added mass I barely made it through some of this on the way up. You can see there where I had to try and turn out to gain some traction. I was damn near ready to use the winch, but then as I turned out, it, it started taking off. We have an issue at the bottom end of this road where the village is. The no runner way of getting over to the road with the bridges 
is to um is to go across this little rocky snail trail until you get up here and then come down and then this is all water and rock basically from here all the way down to this corner is shit so going over I went over some rocks and then I went across here and then went across some rocks again I don't know about going all across all the rocks with a loaded truck so I don't know maybe we'll stay on the ice till we get out here or go around the corner like this but we don't want to go to northern Aegis not this time Here's another big sippy hole. Oops, didn't mean to move the camera, but that's all right. It'd be hard to run into something going that slow. And all those puffs of smoke, that's just playing on a loop. It doesn't mean that I'm on and off the gas that much. It just plays on a loop. Because I got the pedal to the metal all the time. I rarely let off. Um, let's see. I came up by winding around over there because this was all big rock. I winded my way through a smaller section of rock. You can go straight across there, but it's bad all the way you'll eventually get across. It's just how much time do you want to spend sitting in mud and spinning your wheels? I think I came down right in here somewhere. Yeah, there's my tracks. But maybe we can bypass that really bad spot without losing the load. I know there's some big rocks there. But a little rocky shoreline ain't nothing compared to the swampy mess that's up in there. We're going to have to utilize some fuel from the roof rack. Thirty liters a minute. We're only halfway to the gateway. I'm 
repairs aren't that bad. Wow. That's all it had? Well, there's a fuel station by the gateway. I thought it had more points than that. Wow. I mean, I expected to see it like 1430, not 430. Wow, 16 minutes to get down to the bridges from, well, about 15 minutes. 15 minutes to get down to the bridges from the lumber yard, lumber mill. No, don't you dare. That was actually pretty impressive that it did not tip over right there. Left rear sunk in a hole. Of course, you know, a whole snow runner put there, but anyways. Uh, I should have took the beach road to avoid this section, but, eh. It's alright if you're just careful on the bridge. The game will try to sling you off. Or run you into the rocks, or run you into the pole, or uh, run you down the bank into the trees, or, you know. I'm constantly moving the stick right and left as I keep the, as I hold it forward to get the best, you know, speed out of it, I'm constantly, there's another one, constantly going right and left to try and keep it off of obstructions that the game is trying to make me hit. Sometimes I just gotta jump on the brakes, like I just did. Oh, get out of my way, trailer. I should delete those, but I can get money for them, take them back and sell them. All full up. And here we go. Those are four spot low saddle goosenecks. Four saddle? Four spot. Low saddle, four spot, gooseneck. <sighs> I'm waiting all day for the uploads to get done so I could close the browser 
and give the computer a reboot. Then I spent like an hour trying to find a mod I used to have and it disappeared. Although it says when I start the game that I'm missing the mod. Um, turns out it updated, but you have to do the unsubscribe, resubscribe thing in order to get it, get it back, but then I could never find it. You got to use the mod browser. You got to use the search engine in the mod browser. The mod browser wouldn't find it. Well, I finally, after searching, searching on the website, I did find it. And the reason the mod browser wouldn't find it is because he wrote the name of the mod with underscores between each word. So it was URL underscore 4320 underscore RSK. So I started the download right before starting the video. So um, when I get done with this, I'll probably wait for the download to finish and then I'll um, upload the video. All right, I gotta get from here to there. That's not the problem. Um, I need two bricks and two metal beams from down in this corner. And I got a Kenny with a four slot right there, but it's pointing the wrong way. So I got to turn that around, come back down here to the corner. And I don't think it matters which order you deliver the shit in. So we might as well go see if we can turn one load of short logs into three. You see those two log trucks, those two truckloads of medium logs that I drove by. Well, that job called for three. But I just kept hitting the button. One, two, three. And then it never even took them off the truck. When I hit it the first time, and it didn't even take it off the truck, well then I thought, let's try hitting it again. And it didn't take it off the truck, so we'll try it a third time. <laughs> and, yeah. Brought three loads of logs with one truck, and it, and it doesn't even use the log. That's my kind of shit. That's my kind of bug, man. You can leave that bug. Of course, Amir's been doing that for right from the beginning. Um, I once, on Urska River, I once used I'm trying to think of the name of the truck it was a modded version of a vanilla truck at any rate oh, it was a step 310B that's what it was and um 
I took it needed like two or three loads and it wasn't that great a trip so I decided to just do it with one truck and leave it at that you know um drove the step 310B down there with medium lugs on it and it took all two or three loads from one load and then didn't even take the logs off the truck same as it did here so I'm kind of hoping it does that again <laughs> Never gonna get this done in one hour making three trips back and forth. For Pete's sake, make me wind all the way around. Alright. One, two, three, no. Oh. Ah. Shit. Well, we'll bring the rest of the shit as much as we can, but we're not going to get two more lo loads of logs down here. Twenty seven minutes though, so thirty minutes one way. So one round trip is an hour. Oh shut this off. That's a stinker. Hmm. All right, let's hop in the other truck and get the rest of this one done. I'll just drive up and spin around. Uh, maybe I'll have to see about bringing the other two short logs down in one trip. Pulling a trailer or something. But uh, I was up here looking for the dev tools menu to fix the truck, and it's huh, no dev tools on a mirror. Good Lord, where can I? How far do I gotta gotta go for it's open enough? got to get the trailer around the pole so I'll have to do a little rock climb in there but now we're on the way point in the right direction
Maybe I can use something really long that'll carry two loads of short logs rather than using a trailer. Um, okay. That comes out up here. All right. As long as I get on that road without missing it, I know I can get there. This thing is long enough to carry two sets of short logs, I think. Might hang over the back, but if you're not able to set it up that way. I know there's one long log trailer for the for the mod that I'm downloading right now that will carry two two sets when you load it with long logs it breaks it up into two sets I couldn't swear if it's two short sets or two medium sets but it unload it loads and then unloads both sets as a single long log load long long load not just a single timber but i'm sure you got got that part but I'm sitting here wiggling. I gotta take a break. Hang on. Okay. Um bum 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 roads over here. It's hard to tell there. 
I suppose if you move the cam, if you lifted the camera up, you'd you'd be able to see down the hill. But I could see the bridge in the distance. This is pretty country. If you didn't mind the weather, it'd be a beautiful place to live. So remote. You could hunt and fish, have a garden in the summer, stock up on fruits and veggies for when you can't have a garden. But you'd have to have some kind of connection to the world. Um, satellite, something. You know, so you can have what I'm talking about by a connection to the world is. Um, the ability to have internet. You know, as long as there was power lines around, which there are, you don't have to live in the city, but you know, this guy's got power, he's got a satellite dish, that's what I'm talking about. Even if you're in a more remote location, as long as you can get um, two bricks, as long as you can get some sort of satellite and telephone reception. Oh man, two metal beams? That means six spots. Alright, well we'll have to put one on the trailer and one in the truck. Honestly, I wasn't planning on needing six spots. It's just dumb luck that I grabbed a truck capable of doing that. Otherwise, you know, if I was planning on doing it that way, I would have put the two bricks in the truck and the two metal on the trailer. Now I need to run a different route. I got to go up here across the intersection through that intersection and then up to here. So, no problem. You know, there is one load of logs on a trailer down here, but I think they're medium. I was just thinking about this job needing more short logs. And there's nowhere on this map to get anything. There isn't a single logging site on the map. You have to go to Chernokomensk, 
which I haven't even been to yet, or you have to go to Earth or River. And I think Eternal Commands might be closer. This looks like the route to Mateo Point. Did I? No, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. That goes down to the bridge that they won't allow you to use anymore. That bridge right there. They won't let you get on it anymore. As you approach it, it's like you hit an invisible wall. Your truck just starts trying to climb up it. We'll um, have use for that place eventually. I'd take some speed off there, I'd have, I would have rammed straight into that rock. Couldn't take the corner going that fast. There's another place where I cleared the road. Two service spare parts to clear fallen trees out of the road. I don't know how that works, but seems like all you would need is a chainsaw and a strong back, but apparently two service spare parts does it. I think it'd be cool if they showed your player character get out of the truck and fire up a chainsaw and clear the road. But that's just me, I guess. Like the buildings. You know, these towns are supposed to be populated. Then where is everybody? They don't model NPCs, non-player characters. They barely model one player character who's not even in this mod. He's in the vanilla trucks. He's normally in the mods. But they only have one for the whole game. And this thing's not working right. The mod, there's, look at the bumper. There's supposed to be a big cattle guard style bumper attached to the original stock bumper. Nope. So there's nothing to keep everything from just smashing the grill further and further in. Why does it say fuel on there? But there's no fuel on my screen.
There's no fuel on this job. What the hell is that goofy thing talking about? Fuel for the masses? Delivered to the farm to fuel. So that's on a completely separate job. This one's delivered to the farm, but the job name is called Build Additional Farmhouses, but then it says Deliver to the Farm. Well, fuel for the masses goes to the same place. It's like part of the same job. It's on the same delivery ticket. Hmm. That's interesting. That's, um... All the way down here, auxiliary fuel storage. Unless there's... Unless there's some here. No. No. Nope. There was some down here, it's gone. Or it was over here. I remember I didn't have to come all the way down here last time. Oh, but wherever I got that from, it's gone now. So I've got to come all the way down here. We're going to have to leave this here and I'll start the next one I'll start the next episode on Erska River with trying to bring down two loads of short logs in one trip so Plan on that for the next episode. And as far as the two fuel, I could just leave this trailer up here and take the truck down there by itself. Get down and back a little quicker. Perhaps. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.